Ten years ago, the man found a snake egg in a cave. He took it home and incubated it carefully. Soon the baby snake emerged from its shell. It was then that the boy realized he had rescued a very rare golden and silver python. He saw that it had such a beautiful pattern on its body. The boy couldn't get enough of him. He named him Lisa, but it didn't last long. Daniel's father soon found out about the snake. The father was very much against the idea. He was about to snatch the snake and kill him, but Daniel was quick to run. He escaped from the house just in time to protect his beloved snake. Daniel went to the river. He was about to release him back into the wild. But the snake loves Daniel. He wouldn't leave. The boy was ready to let him go anyway. Just then, there were shouts from the villagers behind him. They were all looking for Daniel. But just then, a strange scene occurred. Small snakes were suddenly crawling out of the water. They were slowly approaching the crowd. Lisa, in order to keep Daniel and the villagers out of harm's way, she turned around and went back into the water. With Lisa gone, all the snakes on the ground returned. Ten years had passed. Daniel had grown up to be a big boy and became a biologist to work on an anti-cancer drug. He returned to the cannibal island with his team. One expert said, the island is full of exotic treasures. Any one of them is worth a lot of money. And the most precious of all is a plant called golden seal. If we can extract its genes, the secret of immortality will be found. The man was dying of snake venom. At that moment, a golden and silver python suddenly crawled behind him. As everyone watched, the giant scales actually kissed the man's body. The next moment, an incredible sight happened. The man slowly regained consciousness. But Lucas had just the right moment. A single shot knocked the python out. Although they had caught the python. But the exit was blocked by a black king snake. At this point the wise Lucas said. We can use the gold and silver as bait. To take out the black king snake. So they hung the gold and silver pythons at the mouth of the cave. The rest of them hid in the shadows and waited for an ambush. Soon the black python came sniffing around. Lucas and the others saw the right moment. They took a shot at the snake with their rifles. But they had under estimated the black snake's strength. Not only was the snake unharmed, instead, it attacked them. Anna saw that this was no good. He hastily loaded his crossbow to shoot the snake. But before he could do so, the snake lunged at him. In the nick of time Daniel stepped in. He knocked it aside. But the king of the snakes was driven by inertia into the honeysuckle templar. While the snake was being dragged by the turman. Seeing the snake king being dragged, the men took the gold and silver scales and rushed to the outside of the cave. As it was too slow to run with it. One expert then suggested, drink the blood of the gold and silver python on the spot. Not only would it give a man immortality he would also keep his youth forever. When Lucas heard that the snake's blood could have such an effect, he immediately drew his knife and was eager to bleed the gold and silver scales. Daniel saw this and rushed forward to stop him, and so the two fought. Daniel was no match for Lucas. After the fight, Daniel was kicked a few meters away. At the critical moment, the gold and silver scales suddenly woke up. It quickly wrapped itself around Lucas' body in 88 circles. A giant python suddenly appears. It slowly moves towards the man. The man was so scared that he closed his eyes tightly when he thought he was going to die. The python only gave him a kiss on the forehead. Then it slowly retreated. The man was very confused. So he asked him if it was Lisa. The little snake not only understood the man's words but also responded with a little tongue. The man was very happy. The man and the snake were long lost friends. As a child. Daniel and Uncle Sam were fishing in the river. Just as the boat reached the middle of the river, a huge black figure appeared in the water in a strange way. Daniel seemed to notice something unusual. He was about to warn Uncle Sam that there was something underwater. The next moment, Uncle Sam was pulled into the water by a huge force. As Daniel was desperately crying out, Uncle Sam came back out of the water and scathed. What bad luck! While they were talking, the boat had arrived at the legendary Cannibal Island. Uncle Sam stood up in fear. Cannibal Island is a forbidden place for the family. He pushed up the boat and tried to leave. He also told Daniel not to run away. But when he turned his head, he found Daniel had already disappeared. Uncle Sam ran like a madman to the island. He wanted to get Daniel back. But then he saw something horrible. A giant python was standing in front of him. And it roared at him. Uncle Sam was so scared that he ran away. He rushed back to the village to call for help. A large snake suddenly appeared in front of the man. The man was so scared that he closed his eyes tightly and didn't dare to breathe. But to his surprise, the snake just gave him a kiss on the forehead. Then it slowly retreated again. The man took a closer look and realized it was the same little snake snake he had saved years ago.